Hey there, everyone, this is Rembrandt, and welcome to a new chapter of Little Nightmare. As you can see, um, well, here, should I say, there is no sound effect, no, uh, uh to the, to the game right now, um, if you've watched the Sundered episode, you already know what happened, but I will still summarize it over here. When I played the game, uh, last time I recorded, Something happened with OBS. I don't know what. Uh, I just decided not to record any uh, game audio, and my mic was stuttery as hell. Like, it was unusable. So, unfortunately, because of that, especially this episode, I'm really, really sad that it happened. Um, we'll have to deal with it uh, with a lot less. Um, atmosphere as you can see in the back uh, we got I learned that we're finally that we're on a goddamn ship <laughs> here we have a um, passenger coming from another ship onto ours for well for now mysterious reasons we're gonna know why uh, in a few minutes really What I hate is that uh, if, what's the best part about this game is its uh, audio cues on what happens. Uh, it gets helps the game get really intense. I really don't know how I'm gonna deal with uh, this episode. Really, maybe what I can do is uh, because if I jump cut to the interesting part, you'll know that something's gonna happen at that moment. It's gonna get a really complicated to deal with at the same time yeah i can really comment on what's happening we got uh, those creepy obese people walking in the background who i'm not quite sure if they're human or not really but they're all visiting uh, this boat which ultimately we still don't know what this boat is for uh we, we saw that there's a uh, prison there is a, uh, well, the kitchen, and now we're going to learn that um, all that meets needs to go somewhere, and that somewhere is going to be in the belly of our nice uh, visitors right here. You're going to see me do a lot of uh, running around stupidly trying to find some candles or gnomes I guess yeah we can see them down there which I don't understand how it works because uh, when I came in through that uh, little shaft there they were really far from me and now they're really close <laughs> so I guess they had to turn around we can see the old lady up there or maybe it's a woman I'm not sure anymore so that um, she kind of looked like the one that we saw in um, the all-seeing eye right before the kitchen area oh yeah and also there's a household where the crooked man was living that i forgot to mention i really hate the guy with the mask uh, down there really creeping me out i thought they were just um separating the woman from the man from the women but ultimately i'm not quite sure which man are men which are women except for the one character with a ponytail that looks like uh, the way um, the Japanese uh, tie their hair like that, uh, like the geishas, but at the same time, men also have that haircut. <laughs> I'm making our way to, to the dining room. So much food. I wonder how they, like, they are on a goddamn ship. I really don't know where they're getting all that food. Ugh, freaking god, um... There they are, I don't know what exactly I'm doing, I think I'm looking for, uh, if in case there's a uh, little doll thingy with the black smoke in it, or a candle in this room, we say, ah, uh, never mind that action slide under that table, and see him, uh... Oh, not really accomplishing much when it comes to eating that steak. I was really, really stressed out of my mind, uh, walking around these guys. 
because they they creeped me the hell out. Then this guy. This guy. He's gonna kill me a few times uh, in uh, many different ways. You're gonna pretty much see every possible way to get executed, except maybe getting crushed by the table, if I remember well. Yeah, I managed to go around and then, oh no, catch me and eat me. So unlike those, <laughs> those, um, uh, the guys from before, my, my death is pretty much assured dealing with these guys. Like, they don't even chew me, they just gulp me in one shot. Pretty traumatizing for the poor child. I understand why he or she wakes up huddled up uh, in a fetal position between each time. Freaking god, that guy moves uh, really fast for what he is. But fortunately for me, he has no climbing skill at all. Ultimately, there's not much to see really in this area for now. It's really just people eating, you climbing dishes, and staying out of their grabby hands. It's hard to say what, it's hard to say, uh, what exactly uh, the architecture here would mean. It's really Japanese. Inspired for sure, it reminds me of those, uh, you know, those, um, ramen shop that we often see in anime. Really simple, really... Look at that, those people eating those sausages like that. But nothing, none of these things are properly cooked too. Over there, I'm gonna say, oh, there's a drawing of me on this, uh... On this box, I don't really know why. Maybe it's those old gremlins that uh, <laughs> that drew it. Then I tried to do an action slide under that uh, that stool, filled miserably, and find one of those little area. That gremlin deserves a hug for some reason, even though they don't really do much to help me. They just. Well, they, they run in the right direction often, uh, and it's also thanks to them that I know uh, where not to go. But enough uh, dilly-dallying around here, we're going back out. Uh, now, right now, I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Um, there's nowhere where I can climb. I'm really scared of uh, making my way up on that counter. At first, I thought, ooh... Uh, Maybe I need to push down that boiling water pot, but yeah, that did not work well, I see. And then I see, oh, that candle over there. I really want that candle. And I get grabbed. After being digested by that person, I wake in the very corner of this room. Learn that I can grab that sausage, but don't pay it much attention for now. Make my way back up and get my ass over to that goddamn candle. Sadly, ga opening that candle is pretty much a death sentence because the animation locks you in place and you'll never be able to get out of the way before that guy's mitts get in the way. Now you're gonna see me for a few times attempt to climb that stool, even though I don't realize that it's under the um, under the table. A little bit of sausage fun. Say, oh, maybe I can pull on this uh, on this one, but no, apparently it's uh, way heavier than the other stools in the in the game. Makes me wonder how those guys managed to get on top of those. Uh, stools now. Like, their legs are way too short to enable any kind of climbing. And I seriously don't think that they can, uh, jump that high either. I don't know if I make it this time. Yes, I do! Okay. Thank god I... I didn't know what I was gonna say. 
a little bit more parkour with our uh, little raincoat friend here. Then for a little, for a few seconds, I rant about the use of that uh, of this well. How do you call it uh, again? Um, dumbwaiter, I guess. A very just. Uh, well, it's not really a dumbwaiter because dumbwaiters are more like tiny elevators, and they're elect electronic, electric, I guess. Can't say for sure, but there's no use for that because there's nobody here that has arms long enough to reach that damn uh, <laughs> that damn plate without falling down the hole. And honestly, who the hell brought them that food? Now that I think about it, like there's as far as I know, there's only two workers in this uh, here restaurant, which is the. Twiddle and Twiddle Dumb uh, cooks. And for sure they don't know... Uh... Oh yeah, that was such a terrible jump. <laughs> I'm gonna do plenty of these during the episode. But yeah, neither of them will be able to... Uh... Well, wait on these people in any effective manner. So it makes you wonder when they want to eat a little bit more, what the heck are we to expect from this? Okay, now we're making our way across the restaurant a little bit farther. Alright, this place now. I'm gonna have to find out uh, something to say because <laughs> it takes me a while to get through this area. Because there's this goddamn dude right here. Who is a freaking the freaking Sonic of the of the fat guys? Although I do get to jump on his back for a little while, but ultimately this this part was my fault because I was uh, zigzagging. And um, one thing you do learn about life is that um, well. You know, uh, for a little while, I don't know if they still say that around, but they say, Oh, when you want to run away from a crocodile, you should uh, run in a zigzag motion and stuff. And, uh... Oh, jeez, yeah, I forgot how how far you get pushed back when he hits that, uh... What do you call that thing? Uh, I need to brush up on my English uh, vocabulary. I've been losing it lately. And now I forgot what I was talking about earlier. But anyway, I made it. Uh, Sonic did not manage to catch me. And we get a visit from an old friend. And uh, fortunately, I was afraid that... Uh, we would have been met, met up with some toilet humor at this, at this place. And... Why do they need so many toilets in this place? And sorry, I'm never not gonna use a toilet. <laughs> go on the toilet with uh, somebody else right next to me without any uh, ca stalls. No freaking way. I'm not that uh, sociable. For now, you're gonna see me uh, waste a little bit of time for trying to figure out what I need to do. Ultimately, I thought I would need to uh, make my way into that here uh, toilet right here. I'm gonna try to climb it now, I think. No? Or do I already figure out uh, what I need to do? Now, I'm pretty sure I managed to jump on top of the sink first. Let's see. Let's see what I decide to do. Yeah, I'm gonna try to climb on that. It won't work because uh, game reasons. Even though I'm pretty sure I managed to climb a close, an open toilet bowl before. Look around, jump on that, like, oh yeah, made it. Try to... And I'm gonna try to uh, do the fateful uh, jump into the toilet bowl. Like, ah. Uh. <laughs> and I said, oh, there has to be a reason why that metal can fell on the floor. Pick it up. And do something that... I honestly would have expected would have attracted that uh, Twildy. So I ran for the hill for a second there.
Ah. Makes me even think now. Why is there a chair with toilet paper there? Behind a probably two-way mirror? One-way mirror? Or two-way mirror? Two-way mirror. And who the hell would ever want to observe anybody that's here going to the bathroom? Who would be just... Oh yeah, and I accidentally suicide here. I completely forgot about that. So yeah, now, uh, I wish the game checkpointed after we managed to successfully hide from that guy because... Because honestly, do I really need to go through that again? Hmm. Well anyway, so this time uh, I get straight on it, throw a tin can. That what it fell sounded really empty, so I don't know how I it managed to get the strength to uh, break some relatively thick glass. But at the same time, uh, there are a lot of stuff that video game logic care not to explain. For now, we shall make our way to. Uh, the other side of this pipe. The first thing I see is the ooh, that uh, little doll down there. I want to kill it. And I promptly do so. Because that's the right thing to do. That's another uh, mechanism that I don't understand. Like, what exactly activates those, uh, those elevators? I have a feeling that it's supposed to be weight, uh, like uh, when a certain weight goes into it, it activates automatically, but at the same time, lamp, uh, at the same time, there's no way our kid is heavy enough to have any impact on that uh, elevator. Deliberation, go into that room, right? Yeah. Spasming, uh, sleeping dude. Honestly, I don't... I feel like there was more I could do with this area, but, um... Let's look around. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything to do. I went under that bed. Walked around. And, well... Yeah, I got scared there. I thought he woke up and... Well, I didn't feel like getting eaten again, so let's get the hell out of there. And make our way to a really, really fun part, honestly. And really the only real freaking scare in the game up till now. Ah, God, I wish you guys could hear their gruesome sounds that they do while trying to come after me. Even now, when I... <laughs> Even though I'm just looking at this, I'm keeping silent due to just the freaking... Oh god, that guy's creepy, jeez. It's only as a third person that I see the face of these guys properly. And look at this beautiful jump. <laughs> Even one of them came after me just for good measures. But ultimately, um, I'm gonna cut it short here because all you're gonna see is me do this two more times because I managed to miss the jump a second time at, at the end of this. And I won't bore you guys with uh, recycled content. Thanks a lot for watching guys and the next episode will have sound, hopefully. Hopefully. And we'll be back to normal. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in the next chapter of Little Nightmares.